Hello, my name is Frances Bradley from Naila Studios and I'm a fine artist and illustrator. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, documentary art, the history behind it, and some of the different mediums that you can actually create or utilize um, to convey documentary art. The first type of documentary art that you can explore would be photography. Um, some of my uh, favorite photographers would be Gordon Parks, uh, Jack T. Franklin, um, and Chester Higgins. They're all African American photographers that some are still around. Uh, Jack T. Franklin passed a couple of years ago. He photographed pretty much all of the civil rights era, a lot of historical leaders and uh, freedom fighters from that time. Chester Higgins is a great photographer who is still living now. He photographs uh, people of the African diaspora, focuses on culture, religion, and different social issues. So some of my favorite filmmakers would be Spike Lee. Um, he's pretty much known for, one of his documentaries would be um, When the Levees Broke, and that focuses on Hurricane Katrina. He's also known for a great a uh, film called Malcolm X. And you also have Michael Moore, who is from my hometown, Flint, Michigan. One of his most uh, classic films that he talks about is actually Flint, Michigan, which is called Roger and Me. Um, but then you can also express yourself through dance, uh, through acting, pretty much anything as far as talking about something historically you're documenting um, through different mediums. Illustration and documentary art you will find mainly in um, newspapers and magazines. So a lot of information that you're reading on what's going on in the world, you will see like an illustration to complement those actual articles. Um, or you'll also see like a comic strip of you know, something that's going on um, in the world as well. For more information, please visit naelastudios.com.